Good evening everybody and welcome to Gustav Making Stuff. Today we are going to uh, make the legs for the robot. We're going to continue to build here. And I get a lot of requests on how how the, the feet actually are made. And I'm not going to make the full size of them because I already have them and I don't really have all the stuff I need to build another pair of them. Also they took a lot of time. But I will show you like the principle in how they are built. So to begin here I do have these three boxes here which is basically what the whole thing is all about. So we have one here that are the feet and I actually will show how the feet is built a little bit because I had to redo them. And then we have another box that we put on there that are connected here in front. And I'll see if I have a pen on me to... Oh, sorry, pencil. Uh, sorry for my English. You will put a little bit of a. Let me zoom in for you if you. There we go. You see, here we have a bit of a red thing going on. And then we're gonna put outside here, and we're gonna have a bolt there. So we have it kind of, kind of close, so we actually have space, so they will move here, because you see it will travel here, but on the feet you will see that they are having a ledge there. So you can actually raise them a bit, so you have the space to bend this thing. These are going to follow with you, if you understand. Here's my finger. Well, you probably know exactly what I mean, when you call it a joint. And uh, now continue with uh, this is the foot there and then we have the, the lower leg and then we have the upper leg which is also you see just a box like this but the size of your leg and that will be placed on top of that but there are more things to this do you see the knee and also you don't see my own knee when I'm walking so I'm going to put one things like this inside. I'm just gonna glue it to show you how it's going to be put on. It's gonna sit something like that. And what this will do, and it takes a lot of testing to actually do this, that when you have this on top here, and the knee is moving, you see, we will have the joint there instead, that you will not have an exposed knee. There we go. So you see, the knee will not be exposed there. And this is just a concept, you have to do this. It, it takes a lot of trial and error to do this. But, then, we also have to cover it up with this little, so it doesn't look that flat, so it looks a little bit cooler with a knee. This is not, this is just a, you see, still a concept. This is not a, a final form, but you will see what I mean. And we can put that, something like that. While that is drying, I'll just show you that the next joint is going to be there instead. So we can paint it like this. Here it is bolted on, and there we have just a joint thing going on. And that can also put the joint down there. We will have to do some trial now. It depends on what you have built and how you have built it. So now they will actually be leveled. So they will go here and they will not shift like like that, it will not be wobbly, it will be kind of stiff. So, now you see, it bends there, and when it bends the other time, it bends over there. So that's the joint, and that's the joint. Some robot builders uh, have put the joint in the middle, but then you need to do some compensation there. So I thought this would be a very much more interesting and better solution when you make a squarey bot. But I'm no expert, so 
this is basically how the the leg has been built. So let's keep on with the foot. So the foot is starting here by you see I also have this inside cover thing in the feet there so it will cover up when I walk. So you see this is just being put together with two nails and you have I do the do some space stuff because this is thinner and you see the big holes there on the side is like when this has been worn out. So you see that thing it doesn't really look but you see it's angled in the front there so it actually is angled where my toes start so it does so it do feel like you're walking in a normal pair of shoes almost as much as you can feel that shoes walking. You see, I'm doing tempers here because I'm now going to fill up the whole surface inside the shoe instead there with uh, these blocks. You see, I have a little gap in the in the uh, in the back of the foot there, but I cover that up later with some more styrofoam. But you see there, and now I put there, and also now we're going to uh, take the shoe here. Uh, which uh, is an old shoe and we are going to take the tape and we are going to just uh, spin it around to attach the toe. Don't don't to put too much force on this because then you would be very uncomfortable to wear a shoe. Now you see I have uh, I have uh, put lots of tape around this and also glue together these blocks and I'll put some glue to glue this to the uh, shoe itself. It will not be enough, but it will do help. So you see, now I'm going to take these very long, long screws and I'm going to screw them all together through the foot from the underside so it will be attached. And also we're going to put some rubber to this later. But this is going to be used outside uh, entirely for this thing. This is going to be used for it so it doesn't scratch up the floor. Unless I have to put some more rubber wing. You see, there is the new shoe and the old shoe. And you see how flimsy and worn and terrible and not sticky to the to the, the, the robot thing are. And you see you can move your feet very, very good and walk backward and forward and shake them around. And you see, now I have both of them. And they feel very much more stable to walk around in. As you see, I cannot really walk around a lot in this room where I am working in. But you see what I mean there with the better ways to move your feet around like that. And it will also be very much durable. Now, you will see, I have covered the whole side off because there's still a little gap there. And now we are going to put uh, the rest of the leg on top of that. And uh, I do think I'm going to have to uh, adjust this a little bit of a cent centimeter up. And by doing that, we will actually flip this on its side here. But you see, I have put uh, also four very long nails on the inside of your foot, of your foot, on your leg. So you see, you can wobble it in the sides because else this will break. You cannot really turn your foot to the side. Uh, it might be look stupid and feels like counterintuitive, but you you do move your feet sideways. And now it also have to be painted gray where I put the metal on, and also where the new little styrofoam blocks are showing. So now uh, I did this after this, so this will be, I did a test before this. But now you will see when I'm walking around here, I also put this thing on with some straps around my legs and also they are strapped like, you know, women's sexy underwear to my pants. So they will be hanging from my, from my pants. Um, I don't know the word for the parts where you can put your uh, your belt in, in front of you on your pants. Anyway, so now you see uh, the legs are, you see they are a little bit bent also due to I have lifted them up. But they will also make them look a little bit more human. So now I'll walk around. You see it's missing its backside. I will soon put uh, another backside on them. But when you're working on them it's easier to have to not have them there because you can get in and out of them very easily. So now I will do some little more advanced movements than more walking, you see. Still you can walk from back to the front and you can also shift your legs and going backwards. This is very, very mobility tests are very important, even though you have to walk a little bit weird in them, but they still feel like you're walking properly. It would be cool to make a clear pair of this to see how your legs work on them. But also you see I can kick almost. 
and you see the red underside and I can lift them and bend them forward and backwards and the side you see they, they actually shift a little bit and do a little dance. So, you see, that is very fantastic. And now uh, we are going to a little bit of part here when I'm going to talk about, you see a lot of stretching things going on here. Uh, I will upload a lot more videos in uh, soon because I have some projects to do. And also I will be very happy for you all people that have suggested and thanks me. And uh, well, I have do some solutions, so I will keep making this even do I go through some little bit of financial problems at the moment but we will soon figure that out don't don't worry about it anyway so now here is the machine gun that i also updated for the mech suit it's not painted yet but see it's a jar there of juice and there is some part some uh, the handle over there and you see the arm there so thank you for watching and this part two of the mech suit build i hope you enjoy it see you in the next video bye